Giganotosaurus Giganotosaurus roamed South America during the early to middle Cenomanian stage of the late Cretaceous period, from about 97 to 93 million years ago. Although not much is known about this species, it is believed that it lived about 30 million years before Tyrannosaurus rex. The first discovery of Giganotosaurus remains were known in July 1993. Ruben Dario Carolini was a lucky amateur dinosaur fossil hunter who found Giganotosaurus. He spotted a tibia sticking out of the stone in the Nequan province of Patagonia, southern Argentina. The Candeloros formation where the fossils came from is the lowest unit in the Nequan group, which forms a part of the Rio Lime subgroup. This formation is composed of coarse and medium-grained sandstones, influvial and aeolian sediments. So far, Giganotosaurus specimens were only found in this formation. Once the news about the discovery reached the researchers, the excavation was arranged by the National University of Comahue and funded by the scientific writer Don Lessam. About 70% of the skeleton was complete. Some parts of the skull, pelvis, leg bones and backbone were unearthed from the first sight. The fossil was disarticulated and scattered over a wide area. Just the skull alone was very fragmented and spread over an area of about 110 square feet. The second Giganotosaurus partial fossil included the left lower jawbone that was 8% larger than the first and original specimen. It was discovered in 1998 by the Argentine geologist and paleontologist Jorg Orlando Calvo. So far, no complete skeletons have ever been discovered. Giganotosaurus was named in 1995 by paleontologists Rudolfo Coria and Leonardo Salgado, who described the dinosaur in their nature study. The name was derived from the Greek word gigantes. The meaning of the name stands for giant southern lizard. The specific name, Carolinii, was given in honor of Reuben Caroline, who found the dinosaur. Scientists decided that this dinosaur should be placed in the Cacarodontosauridae, the shark-toothed lizard's family. There is only one known species of the dinosaur Gigantosaurus carolinii. Gigantosaurus belonged to the subfamily group Cacarodontosaurinae. It appears that its members lived only on the southern continent of Gondwana, formed by South America and Africa. The Southern American tribe, Gigantosaurinae, may have been separated from their African relatives during Gondwana's breakup in the Aptian Albion ages of the early Cretaceous. Therefore, Giganotosaurus was probably the apex or top predator of today's South American region. Herbivorous dinosaurs, such as the Titanosaurian sauropod, Andosaurus, and the Ribachisaurid sauropods, Limesaurus nopsaspondylis, may also have shared the area. Gigantosaurus may come across smaller theropods, including Abelosaurid Ecrixinatosaurus, the Dromosaurid Buteraptor, and the Alverosaurid Anashatri. Other reptile fossils of the crocodiliform Arari Pesuchus, Sphenodontians, snakes, and the turtle Procellidella were found, as well as vertebrates, including Cladotherian mammals, a pipoid frog, and ceratodontiform fish. Footprints of large theropods and pterosaurs were found there to hint at their existence. Size estimates are always tricky, as it is very difficult to calculate on the base of a partial fossil remain. However, researchers believe that Giganotosaurus grew to be between 12 to 14 meters or 40 to 46 feet long from head to tail, and 7 meters or 23 feet high at the shoulder. 
The weight is always difficult to calculate, but it is thought to be between 6.6 and 8.8 tons. Although some calculations suggest that Giganotosaurus weighed up to 15 tons. If there are many specimens available for a study, then it is possible to see the various stages of development from babies and juveniles to full-grown adults, which is not the case for Giganotosaurus. It appears that Giganotosaurus was slightly larger than a Tyrannosaurus rex. Although placed behind Spinosaurus in size, amongst the meat-eating dinosaurs. It was confirmed that Spinosaurus was longer than both Giganotosaurus and Tyrannosaurus. The Giganotosaurus had a longer skull than a T-Rex. The skull of the holotype specimen was estimated at 1.6 meters or 5.2 feet long and is believed to be one of the largest known theropod skulls. The skull was narrow with eyes on the side of the head. It is thought that this dinosaur had a relatively small brain, about the size of a banana, which was still bigger than all herbivores. The back of the skull had a steep forward incline. The holes or openings for pneumatic foramen or air sacs are very visible. The advantage is that it reduced overall weight of the head. On the other hand, a disadvantage would be that our skull is easily breakable. Perhaps this is a reason for missing parts or whole head fossils. Giganotosaurus had 76 knife-like giant teeth. They were flat and narrow, with a length of 8 inches. The teeth were sharp and serrated on both edges. This theropod could cut slices into a sauropod's soft tissue until they bled to death. Some studies on the dinosaur's bite have been carried out, and it was calculated that the related dinosaur Cocorodontosaurus neck and jaws could have lifted just under 1,000 pounds. Giganotosaurus was slightly larger and more robust than its relative, and perhaps may have been able to lift even more. However, it is believed that Tyrannosaurus had a stronger bite than that of Giganotosaurus even though the weakest point of the jaw was at the back. Giganotosaurus would reinforce its chin to aid and resist impact forces towards the front, suggesting it was capable of forward assaults. The Giganotosaurus stood and walked upright on two large and very powerful back legs. It had two short arms with three-fingered hands that ended in sharp claws. Giganotosaurus models have been analyzed by scientists concerning speed. It was suggested that this dinosaur, Giganotosaurus, could run up to 31.3 miles per hour, or 50.5 kilometers per hour. Its tail was thin and pointed, and may have helped it with balance, agility, and making quick turns. The Giganotosaurus was a carnivore and is thought to be one of the largest dinosaurs in this group. It is believed that Giganotosaurus preyed mostly on large herbivorous dinosaurs, such as Titanosaur argentinosaurus or more common ribachosaurid sauropods which lived in forests where they could find their food. Like any other predator, this dinosaur was probably opportunistic and scavenged on carcasses. It hasn't been confirmed if Giganotosaurus preyed alone. Researchers studied a close group of dinosaurs, the Carcharodontosaurids, to see if they hunted in packs. Seven fossils of the Carcharodontosaurid Mapasaurus lay grouped closely together, having been found in a single bone bed. It is thought that they died together because they lived as a group. It is possible the Gigantosaurus may have also chased prey in packs. Due to its size, this giant theropod did not have any natural predators. However, sick or injured individuals may have been subjected to other predators' attacks. These videos take a very long time to create. If you would like to support the channel and assist in improving it, 
then do please subscribe and give us a like and consider joining our Patreon. Links in the description.